wanted to do a segment talking about some of the release lock improvements that have come to 716. To turn on release lock, you can simply just turn it on in the top bar. And so just having it on casually will make it where you can click and drag and create a shape. And instead of it jumping to extrude, it will put you in this intermediate state where you can kind of adjust the shape and think about things. So here we can adjust the bevel. We can grab this dot and adjust the extrusion ever so gently. And then of course, click to apply. However, there are multiple modes to this. And previously we had things delegated to shift and control. However, if you shift or control click, you will get a release lock pop-up. And there's a couple of things to release lock that's worth knowing about. For example, we can turn off release lock, which locks it on the first draw. However, we can turn it on laser cut, which means that whenever we draw and release, it will actually jump to laser cut and pause, which will allow us to kind of analyze the solution we received here with the laser cut and then adjusting subsequently by just adjusting the dots. And then of course, click to apply. Uh, if we shift click it again, we can bring up the pop up once more. It can be a little tricky sometimes. And by turning on release lock and quick execute, it actually turns on a different type of cut mode where basically here we have it with just release lock and quick execute. But if we turn on all three, we'll get the special mode where basically it will jump to the final state. And this is kind of what I refer to as God Ray internally, because you can just click and drag and create a shape and just laser cut all the way through it while looking at it dynamically. And without laser cut, there's, <clears throat> sorry, uh, without laser cut, there's no other way that you can really just kind of see your cuts in action like this. And so this is one of my favorite features of this latest release, and I'm happy to be able to finally do a video just kind of focusing on it. So if you're interested in messing with release lock and laser cut, all you have to do is just shift click and you'll be able to bring up the panel where you can experiment with either toggling on one or toggling on all three or playing with combinations on what you get because quick execute is another type of mode that's very popular where you just draw and you click and it just laser cuts without any further questions. And this is a preferred way to work for concept artists. However, sometimes you also want the ability to look at the result of your laser cut like so by being able to look at it prior to its application and kind of see what you're getting here. And so that in a nutshell is what release lock and laser cut lock is all about.